this is the first vehicle on our new two post lift. So we got to rack this puppy and we're going to get rolling and I'm going to show you guys how to do a nice simple upgrade to change your truck from stone stock to ready to rock. <laughs> Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're bringing you a quick and easy one. This actually belongs to my cousin. This is a 22 Silverado. And uh, even though he's only got like 5,000 miles on it, it's already got tons of desert pinstripes and he's destroyed two tires and had to patch the other two already from mesquites. So we are gonna do a Cognito leveling kit, which also includes a one inch rear block, uh, new U-bolts because we don't reuse U-bolts, top hat spacer for the strut, and these are a little different than a lot of the other people do leveling kits. This actually goes under the coil to preload the coil a little bit. So this is gonna get us about two and a quarter inches roughly in the front and then one inch in the rear. Uh, tires are going from uh, stock 265, 65, something like that uh, to, I believe I ordered 275, 70, 18s uh, BFGs. At this point, our strut assembly is out. I did see a new trick that, I don't know, for some reason I never really thought of it. I guess on these newer trucks, it's gonna work easier. You actually pull the lower eccentrics instead of popping the ball joint. Pretty freaking easy. These things came out. I'm gonna do one side at a time. I'm not gonna pull both sides apart and then try to worry about getting those mixed up. Uh, also, I've only got one transmission jack, so there's no reason to do that. Uh, we do have our strut mounted in our strut compressor, as you can tell. Uh, this is the out, so make sure you mark it. This is also out on the strut. The reason you want to do that is because our new strut hat, this guy right here, left and right are the same for this particular application, is going to flip this bolt pattern. Uh, so now what these, these small wheel studs basically, so we, what we're going to wind up doing is this is going to be in now and the strut will still be out uh, so we're going to wind up flipping the strut so i'm going to get this compressed and we'll get this party on the road You guys can see this is a stamped steel piece and then there's a snap ring right here so what we're gonna do is take the taper on the inside and it's going over the top so that sits nicely and then we reinstall our plastic isolator so we don't have noise okay so what this is gonna do is preload the coil a little bit and that's gonna help maintain travel
All right, at this point, we are ready to make our modifications. All right, so our instructions tell us, and this is a uh, good rule of thumb for all of these. I'm gonna go to three quarters of an inch. So the reason that you want the flange, flange nuts on here is so that if your threads are wonky, you'll be able to get them back off. All right, like we talked about, this is gonna take our bolt pattern and reverse it. And the trick here is you wanna take a straight edge. Well, honestly, this is fine. And hold this thing on here and make sure that you're not touching See, that one needs to come down a little bit. So does that one. So I didn't cut those too long enough. So just in case, we'll run the nut back on. And get our grind on. Mm-hmm. We good now. All right, we're just gonna check it one more time just to be sure. Clear by about a sixteenth. That one's clear. Oh, see? Missed it by that much. Moments later. All right, let's check our directions. Mark cut sand, check stud length, torque to 40 foot pounds. All right, so installation is the reverse of disassemble, like Johnny Five. No, no disassemble, no disassemble number five. All right, kids. Let me uh, let me button this. Let me button this up. And in the instructions, it shows you a couple of places to put uh, P clips instead of the factory clamps. Uh, keeps the ABS wire out of the coil or something. So I'll tighten everything up and then give you a once over. Thank you. Sorry for the noise. Okay, same thing, other side. Sorry about the compressor noise. Trevor's over here cutting U-bolts off so that we can torque them with a normal socket. We're gonna throw the wheels on and then here come the beauties. And there you have it. As you can see, we have the new tires mounted on the OEM wheels. The client in this case did not opt for an aftermarket set of wheels. We used BFG KO2s and 275-70-18s. These should provide much better traction and put more meat on the ground. Let's recap this project. We've just completed a Cognito leveling kit with tires on this 2022 Chevrolet Silverado Z71 with just at 5,000 miles on it. We hope you liked this video. If you did enjoy it and others like it, please go ahead and smash that like button, hit that bell, and subscribe. We really appreciate you watching. Share us with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it, and we'll see you on the next one.